Well, Rosh Hashanah is this weekend, and Chef Jake Cohen has so many great recipes that may be your new holiday tradition or next daily go-to, and uh, you can catch them all in his book, I Could Nosh, Classic Jewish Recipes Revamped for Every Day, and Jake is here now. Welcome back. Good Hi. To Always good to be here. I love that you have so many delicious things, but let's first talk about Foodie Con, which, yes. is, which is happening right now in New York. It's going to be next month. We're so oh, excited. Sorry. Next month. Nah, but it's all good. There's celebrations every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's obviously part of the New York City Wine and Food Festival, presented by Instagram. I'll be there uh, signing my book, talking all things food, Instagram, everything. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of like, fun. Yeah. Well, I loved your first book, Jewish. Jewish. Yes. And now this is your sophomore book. Yes. And it is um, I could Nash. I love yeah. that there's an inflection. Anytime you say any of my books, there has to be some I, kind totally, of shit. Totally, yeah. totally. I love it. So what, tell us the difference between the two books. This book is really about everyday hospitality. And that's whether you're Jewish or not. These are all recipes. I mean, we're going to walk through this, and yeah. everyone's going to be hungry by the end oh, of I, it. I, I'm, I'm not even Jewish, but I love everything you make, and yes. I make it any day of the week. So let's talk about what you brought here today. So this is the most beautiful challah I've ever seen. Uh, that's the goal. And you, too, <laughs> can make a great challah. Um, yeah. It's one of my favorite Issa doughs. I have step-by-step -step tutorials on how to braid it. Both traditionally and yes, for you do a lot of braiding on your yes, Instagram. Yes, and for Rosh Hashanah, obviously we do the round one. It's a nice symbolism for the circle, circular motion of the year. Yeah. It's all great and super delicious. I mean, who doesn't love challah? So you braid and then wrap into a circle. Is that so how this? So you make it into a like a hashtag, and then you do it into a lattice, and you're just twisting it. I have tons of videos online too. Um, but it's so fun. It is so fun. It's like a little art project. Yeah. Too. Okay, let's talk about this bread right here. Yes, this is my date and walnut banana bread completely dairy free <gasps> so moist so delicious oh so easy gosh. you get the chunks of the dates yeah, and walnuts yeah, just please like we're gonna and be eating everything super, this is, we're noshing moist. today i could nosh and we can make this in advance it's great in the oh freezer what is dairy free mm -hmm. i don't believe it there we go that's always the goal <laughs> Okay, this is the um, apple and honey snacking cake. This is also dairy free. Oh my it's god! Great for, um, to bring to school for the kids. Exactly. It uses olive oil and applesauce. It's super moist. Mm. I'm telling you, like, this is my favorite snacking cake. Comes together in minutes. Obviously, you got to then bake in it. In minutes. In minutes. But the cake itself, it's all in one bowl. You don't even need a separate bowl for the dry. You just dump it and stir it and bake it. And I love an olive oil cake because it's mm. super moist. It's exactly. A little more dense usually, but this doesn't feel dense at all. I find that olive oil is like. <gasps> It's acidic, so it reacts with the leavener and makes it super fluffy. So fluffy. That is so good. Mm. Okay, talk to me about these. These are, I'm telling you, this is the recipe that you have to make first. It is date brownies. Yeah, I love dates. I always have them in my pantry. I mean, it's super decadent, and yet it's a date, so it's kind of healthy. It's a little bit of a superfood. Right. We love that. It's better when so, I put a date in something. So these are the date brownies, and these are the haroset rugula. Haroset, it's obviously, it's this like... Apple and walnut and raisin mixture. It's everyone loves arugula. If you're in New York, how roasted is? from Passover. It's like one of the things, and this is kind of a play on that. Um, so it's like if you've been to any deli, whether Jewish, Italian, like we all serve arugula in New York we do. because they're delicious cookies. Mm -hmm. And again, both of these were great in the freezer. You just pull them out whenever yes. you're looking to entertain. Yes, and that's why I always cut half of whatever I'm doing. I put half of it in the freezer so we don't just finish the whole thing. Exactly. And it stays fresh. I love. And then you eat the first half. Yes. And then you can make all of these and then truly, have a little bit of truly, yeah. always something sweet. Okay, so you have a little twist on the rice crispy treat. Yes. So my husband is Persian, mm -hmm. and one of the best things in Persian food is tadig, which is is crispy yes. Persian rice. This is a play on that. So it's I call them uh, crispy Persian rice treats. So it's yeah. saffron rice crispy treats with bar berries, which are these super tangy berries, and pistachios. So they're both crunchy, like like they're they're honestly going to be like <laughs> this. Vinny's back there going. Oh. I know. Oh, they're like this, this like stepped up. When I tell you, I serve these to adults and they think it is so chic and delicious uh -huh. and it's nostalgic. Everything in this book, whether you're Jewish or not, these are like the things to serve to your guests, have out on your counter. It makes a great gift for the holidays. It does. Oh my God, I could not. It's out now, so be sure to pick up a copy <laughs> and stop by his book signing at Acme Smoke Trace in Brooklyn tomorrow from 9 a.m. to noon. Let me tell you, Jake, everything is so delicious on here. I'm going to make it all. Shana Tova. Shana Tova.